Hi, I'm Hannah the Healing Hunter and today we have a few firsts. Firstly, I am at a festival today, beautiful raw festival, which is in Ascot for this weekend. It's been in a few different venues. And also we're having our first ever group workshop. So I'm having a cacao visioning workshop with other people who will be joining us. So it's a very new episode for you. I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be led by Lisa Fearon and you'll, you'll hear from her soon. So I can't wait for this to happen. Let's do it. Hi, today I'm here with Lisa Fearon. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and I'm having the cacao visioning workshop. So can you tell us what that is, how that started and, and what it is? Yeah, so the Cacao Visioning Workshop is something that I've created and it's based on a cacao ceremony. Um, so a cacao ceremony, um, the way that we work, it's with pure chocolate, so ceremonial cacao. Um, we call it that because it's derived from um, Central America, from Guatemala. Um, I have taken a version of the cacao ceremonies that I used to work and, and I used to be part of in Guatemala. So um, I first discovered this in, um, it was six years ago in 2012. Um, I traveled to Guatemala for um, health reasons, um, for my own healing, it was like my last resort. And I went on a retreat, there was loads of amazing things that helped me kind of heal myself. But th doing, being part of this cacao ceremony was totally life changing, literally in that ceremony. I basically, I was diagnosed with a chronic pain condition um, and it, I was, on all sorts of drugs, I wanted to come off them and it was the last resort, I went on this retreat. Um, and within 20 minutes of being in that session and drinking this hot chocolate, I was in tears. I literally burst, broke down in tears. Um, the, it was a cacao shaman I, we did the ceremony with. Um, and he guided me through meditating to, I wanted to, the pain to go away. I wanted to learn why it was there. And through his guided meditation, I got, um, it was like a memories, like a flashbacks of memories coming back as to when like the pain, I was allowing the pain to store in my body and what emotions were there. And I was feeling the emotions, I was letting them go. Um, it was this whole process. It totally changed my life. Um, I had really bad tendonitis and, and loads of pain in my shoulders. I've never had it again since. Um, the fibromyalgia, the, the condition I was, I was diagnosed with, I know how to manage it now through the guidance I got. Um, so um, these workshops are my, my way of trying to create um, an experience for people, an immersive experience um, that's you know like into an hour, so I, it's accessible to everybody. So what actually happens in this space when people come for this workshop? Are they are they standing, sitting? What kind of what should they expect? So you drink the pure cacao. Um, it's 42 grams you have, um, which allows, you know, like um, your heart to work in a certain way. You release serotonin and endorphins, like all these amazing things I can explain a bit later. Um, and then uh, through guide, different guided meditations or um, kind of inner journey work and psychology kind of, you know, like hypnotherapy work and, and different strains of emotional releasing, um, people go on their own journeys. So it's very healing. Um, it allows you to gain a lot of clarity, a lot of insights into certain things. You set an intention um, in the ceremony uh, as to what you want guidance on or healing with. I don't think it's accessible to certain people because of that feeling of it being woo woo. Mm. So I like, I feel like my um, place and my role is to be that bridge between the, the way woo woo to the kind of the, the person who, you know, is, wouldn't usually be getting into this. Mm. So um, yeah, I mean, I still work in medicine in order to connect, keep connected to that, that area. Um, and so I've had, anaesthetists come to my workshops I've had psychologists I've had nurses I have a lot of nurses come um, to in um, places like this great well I cannot wait to go and do it so thank you Lisa thank you what I'll do now is I'll get you just to um, connect with the cacao I just want you to close your eyes and just hold it in your hands allow your awareness to come to your breath and just to ask yourself internally if there's anything that you want to work on today. And just to set that intention now, cacao is a really powerful plant medicine when set with intention. And whenever you're ready, you can have a drink of your cacao. So just allowing yourself just to connect 
to wherever you're lay right now, sat right now. To let go and evolve, to let go and create space to bring in new. So this is called the glow meditation. And so just really getting a sense of that energy that you're forming around your heart space right now. As to smile in, the, in your heart to find you. And as it does, let that smile spread onto your face and let your face smile. And notice that that radiance is not a leaking or a draining or a loss of energy. It's an overflowing. I'm gonna play you some music now for you to relax and to connect with your higher self. Let this music be the sound of guidance, healing, wisdom, clarity. Whatever you want this music to be, allow this music to invoke the emotion to allow you to get the insight, the clarity, the healing that you desire. I just had my cacao visioning workshop with Lisa and with everyone else in the room and oh man, it was amazing. It was, I know they're very common at the moment, but the way Lisa did it, connecting with like that really powerful part of who you are, like your higher self. It's just so loving and nurturing and, and amazing to remember that that is in me at all times and, and in all of us. It was really simple, but my gosh, with the cacao and, and how she led it, I felt all this energy moving and I loved what I saw, different images that I had of what that higher self meant for me. It was just really soothing and like a place that I can keep going back to if I have to like make decisions or if I have to, if I feel nervous or if I feel unsure about something. So it's such a great tool and just such a fun thing to be a part of with everyone here and with Lisa, she's such a cool girl. So yeah, it, it's so, she does workshops and lots of different things. Everything that Lisa does is just below um, on uh, this episode. So if you're interested in anything to do with cacao, she is your girl. Thank you so much for watching. Join us for our next episode on The Healing Hunter.